Hey, ting, what up, you did? Hey, ting, what up, you did? So, continuing on into more of so the mix of things, I didn't really do anything too crazy. Um, very basic leveling. As you guys can see down here, though, I did a lot of stereo imaging. I got a I, my kick in 808 and made them both mono. I kind of made uh, that string a little bit on a stereoized flute, kept it slightly mono, vocals slightly mono. Over in the vocals, I added a, um, this is a uh, third party. I got it when I did the uh, everything uh, passed from Slate Digital. I got this plugin with them. It's really just shifting pitch, but I put the wet knob. Oh yeah, here, mix. That's essentially this knob right there. I put it halfway. If I turned it off. It adds that one octave lower pitch to it. It's just about halfway. EQ. I actually had the UAD, but I had to actually unplug it because uh, I unplug. I actually have the uh, UAD Apollo Twin, but I can't record my YouTube videos with the Apollo. So I'm using a focus, right? Because of that, I can't use this plugin. So momentarily, I just have the L1 limiter. Then I have the vintage verb. Um, I try not to go crazy with reverb because reverb is not, you know, you want to kind of stay careful with that. I do have uh, a little bit of reverb on the flute. Just got some um, EQ to the bass. Just got some soft uh, clipper to the kick with a bit of EQ around 500 and 4K. Um, I like to have my kick more punchy, not in the bass region, but more. I like to have the kick more punchy in the upper frequencies and mid range area just so you can hear it more, like more so in like iPhone speakers. Or, yeah, just like if you're playing through your laptop or iPhone, I want you to hear the kick. So your iPhone may not have low frequent, it, like the speakers aren't at, won't have a lot of low frequency. So it won't hear, pick up that kick. And I also don't want my kick to compete against the 808. So that's why I don't do any like major boosting in my kick anymore. I used to, but I've found that it just creates more problems. It's better just to have the kick not compete with that 808 in any way possible but you don't want to hollow out the kick by removing too much in that low end like i'm not gonna do this to my kick you know what i mean like i'm just gonna keep it where it's at unless if need be but you know for now it doesn't need to do that it's more so needs to focus around that mid and high frequency so it just punches through and you can hear it <laughs> Simple mix, everything kind of fits together and it kind of fits together just because I'm using good samples, using good BSTs. And when you do have good samples, good drum samples and good BSTs, you don't really have to, you still have to mix it, you know, tweak some stuff. You, you could see I'm doing some minor tweaks and uh, the EQ helps a lot to get rid of bad frequencies and to push the ones that I want. The EQ helps with that, but if you have bad sounding samples, you're kind of working backwards. So if you guys are needing great samples, go over to beatat.com. We have a whole bunch of drum kits. You got we got drum kits you guys can buy, as well as free drum kits and sample kits. Um, there's tons of websites. You know, you guys are probably already aware of. We guys can get drum samples and such, but you got to get quality ones. So. I almost everything I believe everything in here is from a beta AT pack except the um, obvious uh, uh, melody uh, VSTs 
but all of these are from be the at kits that would be there's not a lot of crazy mixing so more so this is a little bit of the automation um i like to make sure my melodies the drums are above the melodies so there's not much of a point for me to go into exact details of like the eq because it's going to be probably different for you guys based on the samples and uh, vsts you guys pick just make sure that your uh, sa your samples and sounds are not clashing too much with each other they can clash a little bit but if it sounds rough or it's if you are having troubles uh, hearing the different elements in your beat you might want to come back to it and try to spend more time on the mix um, this is just a quick mix that I made when I made this beat you're making a beat and there's gonna be vocals on it don't overly compress this don't do too much because if they if the artist just buys a mp3 release if the beat has no room in it because the producer just engineered it so there would be no room then it's going to be hard for the artist to record uh, his song on it. So that's just a small little tidbit. Over in my flute, you can kind of see, like, I'm just, most most of the things, I'm just knocking down that low. If there's a lot of high, I'm pulling that down as well. Beat it, I see what up.